Welcome back everybody to the weekend, or no, actually I'm going to do a whole reading for you for the weekend in the week. So the, the I guess, weekly energy report, weekend energy report, and I'm going to try something different. I don't work with these often, but I have been trained in how to read runes, and um, was offered an opportunity to do a job to do rune readings. Couldn't take it, was busy that weekend, but um, it doesn't hurt to keep up your skills, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to do one rune for Saturday and Sunday, and then I'll do three runes for the week. All right, let's get started. So I should be doing this actually on a white cloth. I have a white paper. Um, so let's see. You want one room for so what's going the weekend is going to be like. Okay. And we have we have dugouts. Which is day, increase, increase, steady growth, and awakening. So your weekend is going to have one of growth and awakening to it. Ah, interesting. So day, increase, increase. So it could be extra time. Uh, maybe you're going to get a lot done for the weekend. Let's see what else day hopefully it'll be good good couple of days maybe something will happen this weekend that will lead to an epiphany of some sort some sort of an awakening um yeah I'm gonna go with epiphanies as well because an, an epiphany is a sort of an awakening it's a great idea um actually really funny because i just did an Archangel Uriel meditation before doing this and Archangel Uriel is the Archangel of epiphanies. So that seems highly appropriate So all right, so that's what your weekend is going to be like. I do have a book. So I was trained I had bought the book originally um, For how to do this and whatnot then I took a class on how to do it, and the meaning in the book, and the meaning that was given to me, these are a lot simpler. I believe when the woman I did this with, these are actually some of the original meanings that might be found in like the Prosetta, um, a lot of the existing Icelandic and Norse texts that exist. So I think that's where some of these come from. Whereas these are, I don't know if they're like made up or not made up, but um, they're longer kind of explanations of how to use them. And I've gotten kind of used to doing the short ones because they're straight and to the point. <laughs> uh, so... Let's see what we have for the week. So we're going to do three rooms for the week of May. Can I get a calendar handy? So this is for the week of May 6th to the 10th or the 11th. My feeling is, is that sometimes this energy will, the weekend, the energy from the weekend is either what you're coming off of from the week or it can be what you're going into for the week. So it really depends on the individual because everyone's energy is different and what's going on in your life is going to be different. So maybe, you know, you're coming off a week of epiphanies and the weekend you're going to spend doing stuff. So that's good. Maybe you're acting on that. Maybe you're taking Saturday and Sunday as a reflective time or to do things for yourself or do things with your family and friends. And then that's where you have kind of your ideas. So you never know. All right, so let's see what we get for the week. Mm 
need three tiles. So some of you are probably wondering, because you can do you can use the bag you have to shuffle, or you can pour them out and stir. I'm sitting on the floor, so this is easier for me. Um, but you can do both ways, because I have done both. Alright, our first one is tell I don't work with these a lot because I have a really hard time remembering. Okay, so this is Wunjo. This is W. So this is success, joy, lasting emotional happiness. That's a good way to start off the week if you want my opinion or to go into the week. So it sounds like either you're going to be picking up the joy and happiness from the weekend where you're going to be going into, and a lot of good things are going to happen this week. Our next one is Uraz, the letter U. So this also represents the wild ox, strength, life force, and determination. So when you couple that with joy and success, so this is kind of the card of hard, this card, <laughs> it's a card. It's a tile of hard work determination put maybe taking that epiphany and awakening that you had over the weekend putting it into putting it into um oh god what's the word i'm looking for putting it into action acting upon it putting in all that starting to put in the hard work to make it come to fruition and then our last one <laughs> is the weird or the weird so this is the blank one and this means to some degree that things are unknown or have yet to unfold. So the blank rune is called the Weird, a modern, which is a modern edition. Consider the collective of the Norn, um, considered the collective of the Norn sisters, and to mean in the lap of the gods. It's everything and nothing it is destined to be unavoidable yet able to be minimized. Uh, it can also mean that what is about to happen will make things different and never the same again. This means that you can use this as a warning to increase your focus, change your ways, and don't be stubborn. It may also indicate that the answer is secret, none of your business if others are involved in the question, to stay private in your own information, or the answers are not available to you at this time. So this is, just throw stuff around. So what this essentially, what this tile means is essentially is that it's unknown. It is still being worked out by the gods. So in some respects, you can take it as a warning if you are thinking of, so like there were examples here of things that will never be the same, a pandemic, birth of a child, try a drug. So I think a lot of people would consider things like buying a house, marriage, the birth of a child, those are all happy things. Other things like the loss of a job, maybe experimenting with something you shouldn't are not the best outcomes that we hope for. So if you are looking for self-employment or maybe you're looking to switch jobs, you're not sure if you should take that job, it's in the hands of the gods right now or the angels, the universe, source, however you want to look at it, and it's unknown. So you can do your due diligence, gather all of the information you can in order to make the best choice, considering the other two, which is success and joy. Uh, da, 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 where'd it go? Lasting eternal happiness. And then strength, life force, and determination. I would say that this is probably leading toward a good outcome but an outcome nonetheless so the other thing you i always want you to remember is that the future can be changed so in this case because it is unknown hopefully you want to stay on the path of projection that you are on for good things in order to make this a good outcome um so usually the future cards can be changed the second time i've dropped it it's also the way i'm holding it but that is something that I do want you to remember. If you don't like the outcome, whether it's a rune reading, whether it's a card reading, know that that future can be changed. You can change the trajectory of the outcome because these readings are in the moment, whatever reading you're doing. Um, 
if it's a good outcome and you want that outcome to happen, then you have to do the best that you can to stay the course in order to produce that good outcome. If other people are involved in your outcome, then that also makes it kind of hard to judge because they have to line up and they have to stay the course. So then that throws in basically the wild card element of what's everybody else going to do? How are they going to do it? How are they going to react? How are they going to come through? Which could be the other aspect of this is that if there is something going on in your week where you are dealing with other people, it's unknown. Their reactions are unknown. Things are still hidden. Um, it's like, if you ever tried the meditation exercise or a, this is probably more of a mediumship exercise, but if you've ever tried it to talk to your angels or your guides for an answer, you do the red light, red light, yellow light, green light, green, red light, yellow light, green light. Um, red usually is no, green might be yes, yellow is there's not enough information. So you might be in that not information, not enough information spot. Interesting. Overall, though, I would say it's very good considering the the other three tiles we pulled. So I would I would say that that's going to be a good outcome, which is always good to know. All right, friends. I hope this helps you, and I will see you again next week. Bye.